So my wife tells me that I purchased this motorcycle last year as a Valentine's Day gift for myself. So a year later, I think it's time to do a review on this beautiful 2021 Harley Davidson Street Glide CVO. Stick around. Many of you guys already watching this video know about the circumstances that led me to purchase this CVO, so I'm not gonna go into that here. But whether you love the CVO or you hate the CVO, most people feel very strongly one way or the other about this motorcycle. Now, of course, we all know the Harley Davidson CVO comes with a hefty price tag. Many people like myself feel that it's worth it, while many others out there say no way. For me, it was the right choice because this motorcycle really checked all the boxes that I was looking for, really nailed it for me at the time. And after a year and many rides and many miles, I still love this motorcycle probably even more than the day I purchased it. All right, let's talk about the paint on this motorcycle. One of the things that drew me to this CVO is the bronze armor. It doesn't have a lot of flash and that type of thing that you normally see in a lot of the CVO paint schemes. Also, the paint to match inner fairing was a huge plus for me. The chin spoiler and the larger passenger foot pegs were a big plus. I can also appreciate some of the red that Harley threw in on this motorcycle. The nice touch of that red paint in some areas really makes a lot of nice accent pieces. And the bronze armor is just one of those paint colors that looks super clean and simple to me. And I haven't seen a lot of bikes like it out on the road. All right, let's talk about this 117 Milwaukee 8 engine that's in this street glide now with a rider like me i honestly believe that i hadn't even touched what this 117 can do i'm not an aggressive rider i'm not a fast rider but i can tell you that that this 117 doesn't lack in horsepower or torque at all for the normal everyday rider i just don't see how it would not be sufficient for someone who's just a normal everyday motorcyclist right yeah, plenty of power, plenty of torque from the starting line, just an all-around great engine in this motorcycle. Now, I, wa I wanted to say this too, that I do believe that there's just not a lot of sense, for me at least, to look at any type of engine upgrades. I looked at them and priced them and that type of thing, you know, from 117 to a 131, just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, even putting in a bigger cam in this engine, it really, at this point, it would just be about bragging rights because I'm not going to use that power in this motorcycle. So if you were interested in the, what the 117 can do, really, I think it's gonna give you more than enough power if you're looking at a 2021 model or some of the new 2022 that they're uh, more abundant. So do you need upgrades for a CVO? Well, probably not, but most people sure like to do something. The fairing exchange installed the 12 inch six bend KST handlebars for me, and I couldn't be happier with them. I actually had these on another motorcycle that I owned previously, so when I purchased this bike, I knew I had to have them. Stock pipes on a CVO? Yeah, I don't think so. Normally, I've always went with Vance and Hines, but many of my friends recommended Reinhardt's, and I'm really glad I gave them a chance. This exhaust is not too loud, and it really provides that deep bass and rumble that Harley is known for. Storage in this motorcycle has never been a problem. I mean, both of the, the saddlebags always carried enough gear for me, no problems there. But I did add a chopped tour pack and that really kind of doubled up and expanded my ability to carry just about whatever I wanted on this motorcycle. I mean, I can, I can carry a lot of gear on this bike now. About the only thing that I can't do with a chopped tour pack let's put a full face helmet in there but usually i'll you know take my gopros off and that type of thing put them in the tour pack lock it up and uh, walk away so uh, that doesn't really present any problem at all let's talk about the sound system 
the uh, Rockford Fosgate sound system on this CVO? Is it really worth all the hype? That was one of the things when I was shopping around for this motorcycle, I wanted a great sound system and I really wanted speakers in the saddlebags. And the CVO has that, you know, the, uh, the, the real nice speakers up front, the speakers in the saddlebags. And I'm telling you, it will thump. When I've got my helmet on, a full face like this, you know, and I'm all the way covered up, I, n I don't have any problem listening to the music from the speakers in the fairing and the saddlebags. I don't ever listen to music coming through my headset. It's always external in these speakers. And whether my lid is up or down on this helmet, I can still hear my music just fine. So I highly, highly recommend. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little video and my review of this 2021 Street Glide CBO. I really do think it is a fantastic motorcycle. And you know what else, guys? I wanted to say that I really appreciate your time. If you're not subscribed to the channel, if you liked this video or anything else on my channel, would you please consider subscribing? That would really help me out as I am on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Whoop, whoop trying to accomplish that goal could use your help to do it so thank you guys very much i hope you have an excellent day and we'll talk to you again soon